Hey everyone, here is a really interesting feature that I found in the Nautilus file manager. So this is on Ubuntu. Um, I'm not sure what other distributions support this or if it's just Nautilus, so you might need to get Nautilus to do this. But when you right click anywhere in a folder and you want to create a document, you can right click and hover over new document and you can have these predetermined templates, right? So if the most basic is text file. So if I click on that and I go into it, you can see it's just a blank text file because that's all it is, right? And it creates it with the text uh, format and everything. And so that's really useful. Another one I've created is HTML. I can click on this and you might think, okay, well, it's pretty much the same thing just with a different file extension, .html instead of .txt. But when I open this and I look inside, you can see that I actually have pre-existing HTML every time I create a new HTML file. So I don't have to type all of this every time I want to create a new one. And so I can just start writing more HTML if I wanted. That's what that is for. And so the way to do this is you actually go to your home directory and click on the folder called templates. When you click on that, you can insert any kind of file that you want. So you can, I'm just gonna create a new document for um, test. Actually, I'm just gonna delete Python file so that I can just show you this making one of these. So I'm just gonna right click and now you see there's no Python files. So let's say I wrote a lot of Python files and I created them a lot, right? And I wanted to make one by using this feature. Well, I would go to the templates folder and I would insert a new file here. Now I already have this one called text file. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna rename it to Python file. And then I'm gonna change the file format to .py. So now uh, it doesn't have the Python logo yet, right? When I click on this and go to new document, there's no Python logo. And it's good to have that logo there, which is um, just because, like, so you can see it in here. Um, I mean, if this is enough for you, then that's okay. But when you click on this right now, it is just opening with the text editor and everything is just seeing this as a normal text file. So if we do this, um, which actually should be at the top of most Python programs anyway. Um, this is called the, the uh, I think the, the, the bang or something. Um, it tells the system that it's actually a Python file. So when you run this, it knows where the program Python 3 is located. So most of the time it's actually in Python files. So when I save this, it automatically changes. Um, and there we go. So uh, if you ever want to create templates and really quickly create files that already have pre-existing content that you can edit, that is very, very useful. My most used one is text file because I always just want to say, okay, well, let me create a text file. I click on this and then I type stuff in it and then I rename it and you know. So, um, and of course, obviously now it says my file in here as well, but I'm just gonna delete that. And so it's as easy as that. It's a very, very useful and intuitive way to just, you know, quickly whip out a new file. Now, another feature is you can actually uh, have folders inside here. So you can do that by literally just creating a new folder. So let's say I wanted my Python file and HTML file to be in a folder called software development. Because those types of files are, if you're not familiar, they are used in software development. Um, and so I have this folder now, and if I ever click on new document, there's a new folder within this called software development, and I can hover on it, and now I get these. And that is really, really cool. And so if you use any kind of, um, I think there's a, uh, a type of file with the end D-O, wait, let me see, D-O-C-X maybe? I don't know if that's Microsoft Word or something. I don't use it. Let me see. Um, it's just, let me see, uh, document. Okay, so it doesn't seem to, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, it looks like a Word document or something. Um, so that could be used if you have an application that can read those and edit those. Um, and if you, you know, if, with whatever kinds of files you, you make, you can actually put them here, create folders for them, and create, you know, all sorts of organization within them. So you can just quickly go, okay, I want to create a new HTML file. So I'm going to go like this, like this, and then click on HTML, and there we go.